I'm Jordan Shade with Groovy uh, Media, here to give you an NFL preseason about the Week 1, 2024. As uh, tomorrow night, Thursday, September the 5th at 5.20 p.m. Pacific Time and 8.20 Eastern, we got the Ravens and the Chiefs. So the Ravens are going to Kansas City. Then Friday, September the 6th, we've got the Packers uh, marching into Philadelphia at 5.15, and that's 8.15 Eastern Time. On Sunday, we've got a whole slew of games, so I'm not going to uh, give the times. Just give uh, the um, – we got Steelers at Falcons. we got the Arizona Cardinals at the Buffalo Bills. we got the Titans at the Bears. And we've got the Patriots at the Bengals. We've got the Texans at the Colts. we got the Jaguars at the Dolphins. Panthers at the Saints, the Vikings, at the New York Giants. We've got the Las Vegas Raiders at the Chargers. We've got the Broncos at Seahawks. we got the Cowboys at, at Cleveland versus the Cleveland Browns. we got the Commanders at uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we got the uh, Rams at the Lions. Then on mo- the Monday Nighter game is the Jets- travel to San Francisco that game is at 5:15 and Pacific time 8:15 Eastern time now let's break down every single team let's pick it let's go right to the top there and let's pick start off with the two two teams that will face off tomorrow night uh Thursday nighter to kick off week 1 the season which will be an epic season The Ravens, very good, dominant offense in Lamar Jackson. And, of course, their defense uh, got a little bit better in the offseason. They also uh, lost some players. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the um, Ravens adapt uh, at all. Same thing with the Chiefs. The Chiefs, um, I would say, offensively did not improve in the offseason, but they still have Mahomes. They still have uh, Travis Kelsey and some of their uh, key players on the uh, team there. And they're looking to do a three-peat for a Super Bowl. And they're at home to start week one versus the Baltimore Ravens. This one is going to be a great uh, matchup. Then Friday night, we've got a really good matchup with the Green Bay Packers versus the Eagles. Packers picked up, uh, they picked up, uh, you know, a running back, Josh Jacobs, the Eagles also did some work. They made some massive improvements on the defensive side, special teams. Um, so that that game, that game is going to be pretty awesome Friday night. Um, and I'm I'm expecting a stellar start. Now we're gonna go with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they improve. They did like a, basically a, a, a complete 360. They went from being not so good of a team last season to being a very good team this season. And the Falcons as well picked up uh, some players there. The Cardinals didn't do too much. They just co- sort of uh, kept on to their youngsters and uh, making them grow and into that there. Buffalo, Buffalo did some stuff there. They also lost some very key uh, players. So it's going to be very awesome. The Titans as well. They they didn't really do much, the Titans in the offseason there. The only thing the Titans did was, in fact, um, was in fact, uh, you know, just basically improved with special teams. And uh, they did some uh, defense tinkering there, not too much on the offense there. The Bears, though, on the other hand, got better. Did they ever? They were roaring overnight, and they did massively. They did some great improving. I'm looking 
for them to have a good season. Uh, they are, uh, they've got a really good quarterback, a youngster, the Patriots, not so much the Patriots, the Patriots just, they just can't figure things out in the organization. And when you're facing a team like the Cincinnati Bengals, where the Bengals have a good team, they didn't do too much. They just added a few key pieces there, the Bengals. But the uh, Patriots there, I'm really worried because I really think that uh, the Bengals are going to take it to the uh, Patriots. Uh, I think that's going to be a, a very uh, big score to watch. And, and then, And then we've got the Texans. We got the Texans, uh, who did some improving on offense, and um, of course, some young people were there. So Houston uh, is going to go into Indianapolis. They're facing a very good Colts team, and the reason why I say that the Colts are going to be the team to watch there is because um, they've got a really good, uh, solid, you know, head coach. And that uh, Jaguars. Well, we've got Lawrence. Uh, we've got uh, Trevor Lawrence there, who is going up against a very good quarterback in the Del- Miami Dolphins. Um, you know, so that's going to be a fun one to watch as well, uh, because uh, both teams, both teams lost some key pieces, and and then of course the Dolphins got some key pieces there, and then the Jaguars overpaid for some uh, key players that they wanted to fill the spots. They're the Carolina Panthers um, and the Saints. Well, we don't know. Uh, You know, like I say, it's going to be rather interesting to see how the Saints do uh, this year. And, of course, then we got the uh, Vikings and the Giants. Those teams look tremendously loaded with great wide receivers and I'm looking for both of them to have a really good uh, season then you've got the Raiders who really improved on the uh, defense there Um, yeah a a little bit on the offense special teams they loaded up so that should be a good game versus the Chargers because the Chargers also uh, they really charged their players up there and got some really key players and they got an excellent coach too as well this year in hardball. Uh, we got the Broncos and Seahawks. Um, I'm not expecting the Broncos to win that game at all. I'm expecting it to be a blowout for, um, for Gino and the Seahawks. Then you got the Cowboys and you've got the Browns. And that's a very interesting one because when we look at it and we, we think about, uh, all of that, we think about, um, you know, just exactly um, the improvements. And the Cowboys, they all, they lost some players, but they also gained them back there. And signing a C.D. Lamb was a very key piece there. The Browns, on the other hand, that's going to be a, 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 that's gonna, an interesting team there because they've got some very good key pieces uh, that have still locked in there for a few more years. Commanders and Buccaneers, I'm not sure what's going to happen there. I'm not really too too keen on that then you got the um sunday night game which is the uh la rams and the lions the detroit lions there and i think it's going to be the lions that are going to um win that game handily uh very much so then we've got uh the monday nighter game which is the jets versus san francisco and we've got uh, aaron Rodgers is going into san fran and um you know um it's going to be a very interesting one because san fran just uh, locked up brennan Ayuk um and uh, some very key pieces there so san fran is actually a favored to win that game but don't ever underestimate the jets they could come out there because they did sign some good players uh so they've gotten a little bit better there now let's, we're just going to see how aaron Rodgers because he may get injured again and and if he does uh well it's screaming as retirement there so that is your preview for the nfl i am jordan shade with the groovy media make sure you sub us on youtube make sure you uh, you like us and you hit the bell button and uh yeah 
like I say. So that's your NFL season preview for the 2024-25 season NFL.